I came across a great piece of writing and I noticed that uh, that my last video on NPD and BPD, the piece of writing that I shared um, was um, distributed more often than my other videos. So uh, I wanted to share this with you, uh, whoever that is. <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to clear up that, um, for one, I call my friend a pen pal because we met through writing but he is my friend he told me that um two i i i did identify as a scapegoat in my um in my family um but uh once i took myself out of the equation there was no goat to be found. Greatest of all time. <laughs> so out there. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Here we go. What factors contribute to some people becoming the scapegoat in families while others do not? Truth is, we communicate with each other on much deeper level than we think. This is what I perceive. This is written by Dorothy. The chief narcissist teaches those loyal to him his very own evil tricks, as he knows that compared to the power and strength of God, he himself is a huge weakling. He does bully us, but that to him has limited magnitude. So he teaches narcissists to deceive us. Come into our lives and destroy each part of your life like a nuclear bomb. That is how my life was when it got hit. Totally and completely destroyed. But you see in such a covert manner that the average person out there will never believe what you suffered. Why did I become the scapegoat in my family? Why me? One, compared to my siblings, I am the truth seeker. Two, don't act unfair. I will call you out. Three, don't ask me to partake in what I consider unfair or immoral because I am not going to do that. And that made me the one that my father sought to destroy in every way. But God had other plans for me. I survived. I thrived, and you know what? Despite everything and compared to my siblings, I do not boast, but I feel that I am the most mature, the one that loves God most, the one that understands what is happening around me. And God has always blessed me, my life in every way. I hope this sheds light.